Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey and on today's video, we're gonna break down a new track that I just did, which is in the style of Sun L. Not quite, you know, Sun L, Curry and the Soul because that's the soulful Afro House tip, you know. So it has that soulful thing as well. So I think we're just gonna break this down. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and please share so that this video can reach other people and can also grow the channel as well. Help me out so that I can keep helping you out, you know. So let's just get straight into it, not waste time, and actually break this down. We're going to start this with the drums. Here we are. These are the drums. And they sound like this. All right. Easy. You have a kick. We have a snare. Yeah, we're getting a rhythm right now and we add more to the rhythm. And then just emphasize other sounds as well with the other snare. You hear that? So it gives it that nice feel, you know? And so I didn't do much to it. And then let's get to the next thing. I added some shakers here. The shakers are actually the same mentality as the snares. And what I did with the shakers is that I know that the shakers give a song the high frequency. So I needed the high frequencies so that they can emphasize the snares. I think you understand this, right? And then what's next? I uh, added some claps. This is when the song gets to like a climax. And then the snares just make sure now the song bangs, you know? If you notice, I still keep the same rhythm to the song. So now you add some shaker loops or hi-hat loops, and then you have something like this. And now we're bouncing a lot. It sounds dope, doesn't it? And then so that's when we go, let's say, let's go straight to the, to the chords more like the pads or these are plugs actually these are plugs but you play them as chords and they sound like this they look so simple i got these plugs from um serum i'm not usually use serum in my in my, in my channel but yeah i use this from serum and then I got a pet here. So I use this from uh, Spire. I got a nice pet there. And then, so now let's break down what happened to Serum and Spire. Because you can see we have some EQ here. So the EQ, as normally as I do, cut off the low frequencies and the high frequencies and as well here cut off the low frequencies and the high frequencies and then you have a very solid song and then because if you want it to be sad to be soulful sometimes you need something very sad you know i think soulful has something to do with some sadness somewhere somehow you know but i'm just saying it's just me now and then i added some plugs here which is like a melody Got this from Serum. It's called the Dyke Pike. Uh, it's a plug. And then, as well, let's get to it. Uh, low frequencies, high frequencies are out. And this is just um, automations. The second EQ are just for automations for me normally. So uh, I will have it looking like this. Then I will automate, uh, create automation for this so that it can move like this you know when it's coming in like from here let me come here so you're automating this part so it will look like this as you can see until it gets to this part as you can see how the automation looks 
let's get to the automation that's how it looks and then we have the melody and the pads and then i added a new pad as well this part so i'm just gonna play this pad alone because now it has other pads you can't really hear it as much as well cut off the low and the high frequencies and then just make it a little bit darker and i got this pad from gms and you can actually do this you know and then next thing is this sound here yeah. so when it reaches the climax you want another plug which is just going to be a little bit higher in terms of notes and then you have something like this So it's still playing the same melody and I got this plug from uh, Spire and it sounds like that and then EQ I cut off the high and the low frequencies the most important one on this one I cut off the high frequencies because I needed it to be to sound a little bit dark I didn't want it to be so bright you know it was a little bit bright when I got it and then the next thing was to add some brushes so that it, it, the, the song can shine a little bit on the climax so it sounds like this sounds dope um i got this from contact these are just brushes here uh factory library and then it's very simple uh what's next the next thing is a bass line uh, let's play the bass and then I just got this from hypersonic it's just two bars you know what you do is two bars reduce the thump and then reduce the tone a little bit not too much just like a midi midi thing you know you just move it a little bit and then you're just fine and then i added like a bass from gms is the bass number four is the analog bass four and as well what i do i put the morning powder and then a slide and one and then so that it can be like this it can sound like So the same bass line just that now it sounds like that and then i think i've just covered the whole song so far uh just an fx here very simple and then also this fill sounds like this and then also this fill now you hear that no and then it comes here So I wanted to keep this as minimal as possible on today's episode so that I can actually do this, you know. And so if you like this video, please give me a like. Uh, if you like my channel, give me a subscribe and keep sharing so that we can grow the channel. Thank you so much for getting this far in the video. And I'll play the song from start to finish. Not finish, but yeah, I'll play this from start. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for being here. Love you guys, man. I'm out of here.